get this goddamn barrel off my goddamn boat. Baskets. Uh, okay. Actually, do we wanna... Is there an ore around here? I feel like there should be an ore around here somewhere, right? I want an ore, damn it. I mean, there's swimming to be done out here, obviously, but you know. There's no boat out there. Oh yeah, we're very close to that, aren't we, eh? There is that thing just there. Now, I kind of want to do a little bit of exploring. I also don't want to die. And I don't know if there are sharks in the water. I don't particularly wish to find out either, though. So we are going to have a quick swim over there. Oh, wait, is this... Oh, that's the edge of the world. I can't get there. No! You can't hide stuff like that that close, game. That's bullying. You know it and I know it. Doing breaststroke to get out of there. Ooh. Ooh yeah, I need fell over a bit there. Because I stopped moving when I left the water for some reason. Well, I was expecting fluid motion. I don't know why. Just a stick. Just a hanging stick. I want it. I want it. I want it. Uh. Ah, fuck it. Uh. Oh. Oh. Perfect landing. Oh, we got some like bags of grain there. We got some more lore. Uh. We have like a nice little target there, in case I want to try out the bow. That's nice, I guess, isn't it, eh? Maybe I might do a bow run, who knows. Probably not on one of the big bosses though, because I hate to try and hit a crystal with a bow, let alone actually hit a crystal with a bow. The thought of it alone is good, bad enough for me. Anyway, uh, I think I've explored this island as much as I can without going over to that ship. Uh, I think we're going to move on to the next dungeon, which is the Outpost Wild Folk that we've got. Not Outlaws, we're after that one. Wild Folk. Most money and a map piece, which will allow us to then move on to the next one. We have got our sword and our axe, and we're fully clothed with the hat on. So, this is all good as far as I'm concerned. We are in a good spot right now. Okay. Back to the default spawning area. Cool. We got our dagger for our close encounters. Keep it. Okay, we got one person over on the right over there. We want to... What? Drag, 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 drag. Oh, wait, we have three. Okay. Stay back. All of you. Okay, stealth has gone exactly as I would expect it to. It looks like our way down is through there. The light is correct. Nope. It's wrong. Or in fact heading in this direction, I guess. Unless, because let's be honest, I haven't headed down there for a while. Unless they've changed it so that down there is like a chest or something, which could be, could be. There's all kinds of possibilities right now that I'm having to think about. In fact, including down below us is an area of the map that could also have stuff in it that I didn't even think about until just now. Nothing back here except for a thing to light my torch on. Not seeing anything but an axe. Cool. Nice tonight. Worth the little detour, I think. We'll call that. Let's just go like this. Jump down. OK. 
Okay, so. As somewhat predicted, not a lot here. You can see we made our way up there, obviously, last time, but you know. Um, I do kind of want to see what's over here now, though. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, cool. Works for me. Okay. So, we're climbing back up here. Which is fine. Whoa, I nearly fell. Who am I there? Okay, let's go. And shall we? Oh wait, we have in fact gotten ourselves an enemy just there. Oh fuck, missed him. I punched something in my room, what was it? My 3D printer, which has in fact caused the spool to fall off near enough. That's fine. We're all fine. <laughs> Got an axe that went up here. Not seeing a lot of anything else around. Oh, I've gathered someone's attention. I don't know who's yet. But we'll find out. I think they just put their weapon away. Nope, never mind. Here they come. Yeah, you saw what happened. Oh fuck. How many people are here? Huh. Huh. Well that worked way better than I was expecting it to. Somehow. I barely lost any health too. I think that went incredibly well. I think I just cleared out this area in here. But actually having to go into it, which is interesting enough. No, it says a load of horse. I think by picking these up, I think I do in fact get them. In this book here. I think I can then read up on them, I think. I could be wrong. Okay, so let's have a quick look around. Because I have a feeling the exit's going to be through a big double door through there. Which it is. But we do want to have a quick look around. So this is a fair sized room. So that means there might be treasure. In it. There is an exit through there too. Okay, okay. We will have a look at both. And see which one our heart desires to take. I reckon. I reckon that this is the actual path it wants me to go down. Never mind, it's not. I lied to myself. Unless this is a door that I can open. It is not. That is fine. So the path we are meant to go down is in fact the secondary path that we saw. That is fine as well. How long does imbue last? Does it last a little while or not? Well, it seems to last a little while as long as you hold on to it, I guess. If I put it away and then bring it back out, eh, it's still there. I don't know. Ow. I got put off my rhythm because I thought I saw something cool. If it turns out, it is just me. I am cool. Finally go use the knife on something. Self-kill. Fine. 
They won't know I'm here because now the chicken won't shut up. You know, I just stealthed a chicken to death. Anything of value around here? Not that I can see. Oh, we have another one of these crypts. Okay. Okay, that's barred shut. So obviously they really didn't want me going in there. Um, we will have a quick look in here though. Oh, there's eggs everywhere. I see everywhere. There's literally one. But you know what? It's worth the find, so... Okay, this is... A room I don't have that much experience with. I thought I killed him. I'll be honest. Make sure there's no heroin stories from either of them. Oh, there's a shot up there. Hell yeah, there is. Wait, that just that just goes in. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, that I can do that. Okay, cool. I didn't realise that. I can just put stuff against my chest and it'll go in. Can I do it with a mug? Oh yes, okay, cool. Pointless, but you know, worth the try, worth to see, worth to see. So anything that I can put in, I can just quick put in. That's nice to know, that is nice to know. I don't have to pull out the menu each time. Which I feel like is actually really helpful to not just me. You know, we are going to try and sneak our way around this area. Because yet again, this is normally a boss kind of area. I say boss, I mean horde. Yeah, this is a hoarder. hear anyone else. No trumpet playing. Now I know that they can stick them on top of dresses. There's the next person. That's that. That's that area done. Oh yeah. I think that's the whole area clear as well. I think. Just nothing but a scripture left. Huh. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I am picking them up now that I realise that they write them down in like my journal. Because I can then go over them, maybe at the end, but before I go through like whatever the big door does, because I realised that started glowing when I put what when I done the first area. Before I go through that, I might have a little look, read through all the air, all of the lore and stuff like that to the game. Hopefully, I should have all of it by then. I might not though, because I did skip a couple of them by not wanting to do them, by not wanting to read them while recording. Okay, yeah, nothing over that. I don't know what it is about this area, but it never wants to... Okay, so we've got... Water down there, that I'm pretty sure kills you. We will have a little look around out here though, because I don't know what's actually out here. And if there is another enemy around here, I do have to dispatch them. So... There's obviously the way up here. 
as well. Yeah, again, this is a normally a horde area, so I feel like there's a secret at the top somewhere. You know? That might just be my free brain. Might just be my brain thinking, but maybe I'm thinking a little bit too hard about it. That's what I don't want to be doing right now. It's thinking a little too hard about it. So yeah, you see we've got like these areas here. Not seeing anything cool up there, around there, no. Oh, did I just... No, I didn't. Cool. Thought I lost the dagger for a sec there. Oh, we got more scripture. And I see the chest. See, I knew. I knew. I knew we'd have more stuff in this kind of area. So it looks like that stairwell has been caved in from up there. Cool. We've got this ladder. See what's on the actual roof roof of the place. No. It uh, doesn't look like there's anything interesting at all. Which is fine by me. Because we will just now float down. Looking awesome as we do so. Might I add. Used chair. <sighs> nothing of value here, nothing on the drop down note cool. Didn't check it, so I thought I'd better just have a quick look. I don't know. Something over that. An egg. How much health have I got? 85, but I think we'll keep the egg for now. So safety zone I guess. Feel like there's gonna be an enemy in here somewhere. Feels like the kind of place that'd stick one. Just gonna be lounging around a corner, isn't he? Nope, no enemy. But we have got ourselves a goblet. <laughs> now that I've seen the goblets being able to be sold, I know that I can sell them, so I will be collecting goblets as I go. Oh, we're at the end. And that's the end of this dungeon, I guess. Isn't that just fantastic? Don't you think? Hey. We didn't get that much from this dungeon, though. I'll be honest. It advertised a lot, and it failed to deliver on a lot. You know? Oh, although saying that, we have got... that in my chest. Let's have a look, see if we got everything. Yep, we gathered everything. Up to 706 coins. Now, maybe I should just start buying weapons and stocking them at home. Like, buy all of the level zeros, buy myself a bow and arrow, you know? And just start transporting them home and have a massive armory at the base, you know? What do you guys think about that? Because I feel like that's something that I can totally do. Also, I need to know what you guys want me to do if you want me to be doing uh, an upload every day or an upload every week or what you want me to be doing because that is in fact something that I really want to know if you want this to be a Monday and Friday thing or what because 12 part is going to be well potentially a 12 part series is going to be a long series you know and I've got no problem with it but that's only if I don't die that's the thing right like, if I die, and then I don't complete it by hand, which could be, by the way, the very next thing that happens. For example, I'm not saying it is. This isn't foreshadowing. I haven't played it. This isn't pre-recorded or anything like that. Um, I just need to know what you guys think in that regard, okay? Because if it is something that I need to be, like, you know, doing. Like, because I like the idea of this half permadeath thing, where I get to get a second go, but I can't use any of the weapons that I have at all. I have to go in there with my fists and try and beat the shit out of all the enemies. Whatever it is, okay? 
which for oh. these little dungeons shouldn't be a problem but when i start looking at like the boss fight and stuff like that could be could be an issue i can't close the hatch okay well that's nice to know but yeah I want your guys' opinion on it. Shall I be stockpiling weapons and would you like it as a two-part series? Would you like this series to be released Monday and Friday, not just Fridays? I really should ask this in an earlier one, but eh, it is what it is. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week or Monday, I guess, depending on what you guys answer. If you don't answer, I don't know what I'm going to do, depending on how I feel.